Okay, so the focus for you is on money. So money is coming in for you. Now you are going through a lot of obstacles and you will over be able to overcome these problems that you're going through in your work life. You are dealing with people uh, that are very selfish, that tend to focus on themselves. Uh, and, you know, you're having to feel your way through the situation, um, you know, and rely on yourself, really. Um, so, um, you know, these people are a bit on the selfish side. Uh, and they're not, maybe they're not telling you or they're not giving you any help or assistance in whatever you're doing. So you are very, very focused on your work. You can see this is the card of the, the lady. Uh, but you could be dealing with somebody, uh, a female, or this could be, well, you focusing very much on that work, on that job. And you're making a lot of plans for the future. You're trying to get that stability as far as your work goes. So you're very, very work focused at this particular moment. You are enjoying your job. You've got the... Uh, um, rose card over here which is saying that you are enjoying it there are a few thorns over there there are people that are causing a little bit of problems over here but you are managing to sort out these problems and it looks like you will be signing some kind of new contract soon uh, maybe making this particular job into something permanent or maybe um, signing a contract uh, for a new job as well so something brand new coming in over there so those are the energies for those two weeks so this is the Celtic Dragon Tarot, and I will be doing the main read with that. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Wands over here. So standing up for yourself, uh, defending yourself and making sure that your voice is being heard. Uh, and, you know, you are overcoming a lot of obstacles. It's been problematic. Uh, you know, you're dealing with problems one at a time, trying to get control of that situation, trying to take charge of that situation. There might be a lot of pressure coming around from people around you uh, to perform in a certain way uh, but you are dealing with this uh, whatever is coming your way whatever problems you are facing you're managing to overcome all these challenges so that's with the nine of wands but you've got a lot of responsibilities that you are carrying a lot of uh, burdens that you are carrying as well uh, you know you seem to be the person that you know all the responsibilities your people are pointing at fingers at you saying that you're the one that needs to take control and you you're the one that needs to take charge so you've got the lover's card over here. So there's some kind of choice coming up for you. Uh, you need to make a decision about something very, very important. And it seems like it will have an effect, a long-term effect. So make sure you're uh, doing a lot of research and thinking about it very carefully before you actually make a big decision. Uh, you've invested a lot of time and effort into this business or into this work, and you're waiting to see some kind of rewards. You're trying to reap some kind of benefit from it. So you have put in a lot of effort. You're very tired about it, and you're taking a, you know, a, a lot of responsibilities as well. You seem to be doing most of the work over here, and this seems to have tied you up, um, tied you out, rather. But it is opening doors. You can see there's uh, um, you know, doors opening for you. Things are going to be going your way, but you have put in a lot of effort uh, into this. A lot of time. You made a lot of sacrifices for this job. You've got the justice card over here in the past year, so you have dealt with some kind of legal situation. Uh, maybe there was some kind of decision that was taken, uh, and maybe you had to appear before some kind of um, tribunal or some kind of uh, body uh, where a decision had to be taken, and a lot of facts and figures were reviewed in it. So you've got the King of Cups. Um, so whatever uh, the outcome of that particular um, um, a decision was it seems like it was positive because there was an offer that was made to you with this king of cups so they were quite impressed with whatever you did it seems like you are standing your ground and you're standing up for yourself and you are uh, holding your own up um, in this particular situation and people are quite impressed so there are offers that are being made to you uh, it might be an offer f uh, uh, you know uh, for a new um, a partnership so uh, maybe there's been a partnership that is being offered to you um, something where you will be uh, working with somebody else uh, maybe at this particular moment uh, somebody's preventing you from actually uh, maybe you want to leave for something better and maybe somebody's uh, standing in the way of you uh, going for something better 
but it looks like there's some kind of new offer that is being made and it was going to be a good partnership as well so it might be something worth uh considering and uh, accepting really so you've got the knight of swords over here there um you know this is dealing with difficult people and um you know um maybe you're dealing with uh, even legal situations as well uh, the Knight of Swords is usually a legal decision that is coming um, or waiting for the outcome for a legal decision. But it could also be dealing with somebody who is um, uh, very difficult to work with. Uh, you know, they're, they're harsh in their communication. Uh, they stir up a lot of problems um, and they cause, um, you know, uh, this person is a bit re reckless. They, um, you know, jump into fights and um, stir up problems and cause drama where there shouldn't be drama. So you might be dealing with that kind of energy around you. You've got the high priestess over here. So there are people around you that are causing a bit of problems and you're having to rely on yourself and your own skills and your own talents to get through it. Uh, you're having to look at your own, you know, whatever you learnt, you're using that and you're putting that into practice in order to get uh, results from that situation and you're managing to weigh up pros and cons as well uh, you know you're finding balance as well you're trying to find the balance or you're trying to take that leadership role uh, where you are relying on everything that you've learned and uh, putting that into practice in order to get results now the high priestess is also about knowledge so maybe you're also thinking or planning on doing some kind of further study as well to improve your skill set uh, in order to, for you to cope with the situation that you are in. Now, the Six of Wands is about, you can see she's uh, alone in this room with books. So this is studying and, and, you know, gaining that knowledge. So you are planning on doing some kind of further training or further course. Um, but it's also showing that there will be victory, um, you know, despite all the problems that you're going through, you will be victorious in the situation. You do need to rely on everything you've learnt and employ that in order for you to get success um, and you know you might have to retreat from everybody else's opinions uh, and you know just listen to whatever your own instincts are telling you in order for you to achieve victory and recognition and that is coming for you so you know you've got this uh, full moon over here so try not to let depression get in the way of you try not to be negative about it because you know things are about to change and they are going to change in a positive way for you so you've got the tower over here. So there's some kind of crisis situation that, you know, you're hoping to avoid. Uh, you might be dealing with a difficult situation over here. And it looks like, you know, all this energy that this person, this Knight of Swords is bringing in, seems to be very, very disruptive, causing a lot of problems for you. And you are trying to cope with it. Uh, maybe you're forced to work with this person. You can't avoid them, but they are stirring up a lot of problems. Now you've got the World card over here, the Ten of Wands and the Magician. So... Uh, this work that you're doing seems to be rather burdensome, uh, you know, and you've got a lot of pressure coming from above, um, uh, the people that you are working for, uh, and there's a lot of stress, you're carrying a lot of responsibilities, you're almost going solo in this, uh, you know, taking uh, the lead role over there and taking a lot of those responsibilities, and it's been very, very difficult. You've got to overcome a lot of obstacles, and it's a very difficult climb for you. So you might be planning on actually leaving this job, because you've got the world card over here, it looks like you might want to just end end it all, uh, end the cycle over here of hard work or um, stress and move on to something better. Um, maybe do some traveling, uh, you know, maybe just leave everything behind and go and do something on your own. Maybe see the world because you've got all these dragons around you. So there might be a lot of drama going on around you and maybe you're not really... Um, happy with the situation, especially with all the responsibilities and burdens that you're you're carrying with this Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is the end of that cycle. So maybe that's, and the world is the end of that, you know, major, major cycle in your life. So you maybe you're trying to end the cycle and you want to start something brand new, especially with the magician. You seem, it seems like maybe you want to go back into study or back into something where you enhance your talents or your skills, uh, improve your skill set. So it might be that you want to leave the situation behind and get back into further study or specialize in whatever you're doing. And maybe whatever uh, work you're doing at the moment is just causing too much of drama and maybe you're planning on actually leaving it all behind. Uh, maybe this new offer from the King of Cups is um, an offer for you to get into that kind of role where you do study as well as work. Um, you know, maybe you're getting into a teacher kind of role uh, where you don't have all this drama that is going on around you because people are causing a lot of disruption. So this could be well what you want to do. 
So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, fairy tarot. And that um, is the oracle read. So you've got the five of autumn over here, which says reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for career change, feeling challenged by money issues. Now, either you do have, uh, you know, you may not be earning very, very well. You might be taking a lot of responsibilities right now and still not earning enough uh, money um maybe by doing this further study it's going to enhance your skills and you're going to be able to get a promotion with it so maybe this is why you're considering that um this card is saying you know don't do anything major right now as far as your career goes maybe you should have that wait and see um stance uh, take on that um you know role um see what goes on first before you make any big changes before you decide to dump it all you know just wait and see maybe you know uh things will change for the better you've still got this ten of, ten of spring over here which says help ask for help from others or work and no play being weighed down by too many responsibilities so you are taking on too much um you know and you need to actually delegate um and, you know or refuse to do things that you you don't need to do where you are spending extra hours, too many hours, too much of time is going on this work and you're not getting any free time or any time for relaxation. So you might need to make that known uh, that you're unhappy with taking on so many responsibilities. Now you've got the two of spring over here, which says a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, a partnership with others who share your dreams and good progress being made. Now I did speak about this partnership coming in. So it looks like there is like an offer coming in for some kind of partnership. With the two of spring, it looks like there is a partnership coming in. So you'd either be working with somebody or you're being made an offer where you can get to work with somebody as a partnership form. So this might be something well worth considering. And, uh, you know, it might lighten your load uh, and make it a bit, uh, you know, it might be going on in the same place that you're working where you're being offered uh, a chance uh, to work part-time and study part-time. And maybe this is something that you should be considering as well because you are making a lot of sacrifice, but it is really tiring you out, uh, investing all this time and effort. And it looks like there is that choice that you are going to have to make very soon about what you want to do, whether you want to stay in this position or you want to move forward. And, you know, it looks like there is that offer coming in for you. Uh, and it, it, it looks like, you know, it might be well worth considering and accepting it. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.